How do you make something that's perfect more perfect? You know, uh, uh, the only thing that I, I would answer to that is that we're going to continue what we've been doing. Um, the reason why Sterlington has got the uh, safety record that it has is because our proactivity of our police officers. We're not reactive, we're proactive. Um, and what that can entails is, you know, we're, we're constantly patrolling through the neighborhoods and, I mean, just not staying out there in 165. You know, we're constantly in the, uh, um, um, the streets and sidewalks of Sterlington, and whenever we see someone walking around or, or late at night, we'll actually stop and talk to them. Um, you, it's, it's tough to come through Sterlington and not be seen by a police officer at some point. Uh, and that's just how it's always been. And, and we will continue with those efforts. Uh, we will continue uh, having the safety uh, record that we have. Um, I, guess the th I guess I could say the one thing that we may would want would be maybe more uh, uh, eyes out on uh, the public by having uh, uh, civilian uh, assistance by calling, you know, letting us know. Mm -hmm. You know, if you see something going on that's not, this just doesn't seem right, let us know. You're not bothering us. That's what we're here for. Uh, if your neighbor's out of town and uh, there's a car in the driveway that just doesn't look like it should be there, let us know. We'll check it out. And really, that's kind of being done anyway. You know, uh, maybe uh, maybe be a little bit more of it, but uh, uh, the town's people struggling. They seem to really take care of them, of each other, and uh, look out for one another. And um, and that's the we've just got the perfect combination of things to make uh, just like what we have the the safest city in the state of Louisiana, in my opinion. Well, one thing I'm going to get our people patrolling again, and we're going to be more visible in the in the uh, in the town. And we're also going to be protecting our businesses at night. We're not going to sit up at the at the police department all night long when there's nothing going on waiting on a phone call. We're going to be out checking our businesses, walking around, making sure our businesses are safe. And during the day and during the evening, we're going to be riding through these neighborhoods all the time. We want to increase our patrols in the neighborhoods, um, be self-reliant on being out on 165 writing tickets, make, a, make sure that the officers are enforcing the drug laws as well as uh, DWI enforcement. Uh, just make sure that our, our streets are just as safe as possible. Uh, also, speeding is a big issue inside of our neighborhoods, uh, so we'll make sure they're addressing those concerns as well.